What would happen to your body if you stayed too long in space? It's a question that has intrigued humans for centuries. The cosmos, a vast expanse of unknown territory, holds many mysteries that we're still trying to unravel. In this quest for knowledge, one particular area of interest is the human body and how it reacts to long-term exposure in a zero-gravity environment. Are we truly built for space explorations that span across years or even decades? Do our bodies adapt or, on the contrary, deteriorate under such extreme conditions? And if so, how? The answers to these questions are not just fascinating, they're crucial to our understanding of human biology and our future as an interstellar species. So, are you ready to delve into the mysteries of the universe and our place within it? Well, prepare to have your mind blown as we journey into the unknown. First off, imagine living in a world without gravity. Sounds like a dream, right? But in reality, it's a bit more complicated than that. Let's dive into the concept of weightlessness in space and how it affects our bodies, specifically our muscles. In the vast expanse of space, the force of gravity is much weaker than here on Earth. This means that astronauts experience a state of virtual weightlessness. Cool, huh? But this weightless environment comes with its own set of challenges. Well, one of the most significant changes that astronauts face in a zero-gravity environment is muscle atrophy. Muscle atrophy is the technical term for muscle wasting. It's what happens when your muscles start to shrink in size because they're not being used. On Earth, our bodies are constantly working against gravity. Even simple tasks like standing or walking require muscle effort. But in space, these everyday activities become effortless and our muscles get a bit of a vacation. However, too much rest is a bad thing for our muscles. Without regular use, they start to weaken and shrink, a process known as atrophy. In fact, research has shown that astronauts can lose up to 20% of their muscle mass in just 5 to 11 days of spaceflight. That's a pretty rapid decline, wouldn't you say? But don't worry, space agencies are aware of this issue and have developed methods to combat muscle loss in space. Exercise is a crucial part of an astronaut's daily routine, with astronauts typically spending about two hours each day working out. They use specially designed equipment that simulates the resistance our bodies experience on Earth, helping to maintain muscle mass and strength. So while the idea of floating around in space might sound appealing, it's important to remember that our bodies are designed to function with gravity. Without it, we have to work even harder to stay healthy and strong. So in space, skipping the gym is not an option. But muscles aren't the only things affected in space. Our bones take a hit too. When we're up there, in the vastness of the cosmos, our bodies experience a lack of gravity that can lead to a whole host of issues. One of the most significant problems we face is a decrease in bone density. Just like our muscles, our bones are used to the constant tug of Earth's gravity. It's what keeps them strong and healthy. But in space, this gravitational force essentially disappears. Without the regular stress of supporting our body weight, our bones start to lose their density. The cells that build bones, known as osteoblasts, slow down their work, while the cells that break down bone, osteoclasts, carry on as usual. This imbalance leads to a condition similar to osteoporosis, where bones become porous and fragile. Astronauts in space can lose up to 1-2% to of their bone mass per month. To put that into perspective, that's about 10 times the bone loss of an average postmenopausal woman on Earth. Over time, this could lead to serious health problems such as fractures and breaks even after returning to Earth. So, how do astronauts combat this bone density dilemma? Well, it's a combination of diet and exercise. Astronauts have to consume a diet high in calcium and vitamin D, both of which are crucial for bone health. They also have to exercise for around two hours each day using specially designed equipment that mimics the effects of gravity. This helps to put some stress back onto the bones and muscles, encouraging osteoblasts to get back to work and maintain bone density. Even with these measures in place, astronauts still experience some bone loss. It's one of the many challenges we face in our quest to explore the stars. And scientists are continually working on new ways to protect our bodies in the harsh environment of space. Who knew space could be so rough on our skeleton? Next up, let's talk about your heart. And no, we don't mean the emotional kind. We're diving right into the core of our circulatory system. 
the heart, and how it fares in the vast expanse of outer space. In the embrace of gravity on Earth, our hearts have evolved into an efficient machine, a bit like an asymmetrical pair, designed to pump blood throughout our bodies. But in space, the story is a tad different. Without the pull of gravity, the heart begins to change shape, becoming more spherical. It's like your heart decides to take on the role of a round ball rather than a hard-working pump. This transformation isn't just a quirky space fact. It's a phenomenon with serious implications for blood flow and overall cardiovascular health. You see, a rounder heart doesn't quite pump blood as efficiently as our earth-tuned version. It's less effective at moving blood around the body, which can lead to a reduction in the blood supply to the rest of the body, including the brain. But that's not the end of the story. This change in shape also affects the heart's structure. The heart wall may thicken and some research suggests that the heart's overall mass might decrease. This could potentially lead to a weakened heart muscle and a decreased ability to pump blood, which is a bit of a problem when your life depends on it. The long-term effects of these changes are still under investigation, but there's enough evidence to suggest that prolonged space travel could have lasting impacts on cardiovascular health. And it's not just about the heart. Changes in blood flow could impact everything from your brain function to your ability to fight off infections. So while we dream of exploring distant galaxies, it's essential to remember that our bodies might have some catching up to do with our ambitions. The human body is an incredible machine, finely tuned for life on Earth. But space? That's a whole different ballgame. So space travel could literally change your heart. Now let's move on to the eyes and the brain. Our vision and brain function, two of the most vital aspects of our being, are not spared from the effects of long-term space travel. Astronauts have reported vision changes after spending extended periods in space. Some experience a condition known as spaceflight-associated neuroocular syndrome, or SANS for short, which can manifest as a blurring of vision, among other symptoms. But why does this happen? Well, it's a question that has scientists scratching their heads. The leading theory suggests it's due to the fluid shifts in the body caused by weightlessness, which could increase pressure on the optic nerve. But there's still a lot we don't know. And it's not just the eyes. The brain, too, undergoes changes. Studies have shown alterations in the white matter, the part of the brain responsible for transmitting signals. This could potentially affect an astronaut's cognitive function, but again, the exact implications are still a mystery. The brain's adaptability in space is another fascinating area of study. For instance, astronauts often report experiencing space adaptation syndrome during their first few days in space, which can cause disorientation and nausea. But over time, the brain adjusts, showing our incredible capacity for adaptation. Ongoing research in this field is crucial. As we venture further into the cosmos, Understanding these changes will be key to ensuring the health and safety of our space explorers.